Air Traffic Controllers Association, FAA. I'm going to hand it over to him. He's the expert. This equipment belongs to him. So y'all pay attention to what he has to say. And uh, we'll get started real soon with looking. Okay, everybody, come on in. Gather around a little bit. Gather around, guys. Come on in a little closer. Gather, gather around. Oh, this is too hot, man. Okay, now I want you to pay attention. All right, now be respectful. I want you to pay attention now. Okay? Pay attention. You got to be cool now for a little bit because you're going to learn something today. And it's going to be probably the only time you get to look through one of these telescopes. And it's fun. Okay, now we're going to talk about. What's that? Shut up, man. Okay, man. This guy needs to leave. He needs to leave. Last okay, well, just, you know, just come, on, come on up to the front row so you can hear me, man. Okay? Now, I know it's, it, there's summertime, everyone wants to have fun. Let's just, let's just listen for 10 minutes, and then we'll look through the scopes and you can do what you want. Okay? So we're going to talk about the nearest star to the Earth today. What? Is there something wrong? Slide some break. Slide down. Oh, my God. I, I agree with you. You sure? Okay. So what's the nearest star to the Earth? Anybody know? The sun. Sir. The sun, that's right. Now. Who can feel a little bit of heat on the side of their face? Anybody? Can you feel a little bit of heat? It's kind of getting real hot, isn't it? Especially with that jacket on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, that's coming from the sun, too. So what I need is, is two volunteers. Okay. Hey, sir, come on up to the front. And you come here. I'm going to volunteer you. Come on. That's what we're going to do. Does anybody know how far away the sun is from the Earth? Yeah. No. Yeah. Six billion. Long, yeah. Farther than that. You guys know? Okay, it's 93 million miles away. Okay, remember that, because I'm going to ask you a little bit from now. That's something else. Okay, so you're going to be my son. So I want you to stand over here next to me. Hold that up so everybody can see it. Here's our star. Okay, now, you see the red color in here? This is what the sun's going to look like through these telescopes, because we're just looking at one wavelength of light. Okay, now this, can anybody see this little bit of dot right here? You see that? <laughs> okay, that's the Earth. Who knows where the real Earth is? Point to it. Under us. Right. No, it's right here. Yeah, wow. it's down here. Okay, well, this is a picture of the Earth. It's the sun with this size. Look at Antonio. It's the sun with this size that, like Antonio was holding, the Earth would be this size. Okay? This is called a scale model. So now what we're going to do, what's your name? Yeah. We're going to, this young man's going to be the Earth. Now, everybody see the Earth, right? Hold it up so everybody can see it. You can see that little big circle, right? You can't see it? Okay. Well, you know something's there, right? We're going we're gonna to get him to walk that way, and I want you to tell me, if the sun were this size, when he ought to stop walking, make a little hole right here, when he ought to stop walking to represent the distance to the earth. Oh. Keep walking that way towards that fence. Oh, what is keep going. Yeah, just keep walking. Stop. 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 Okay, so who thinks that's far enough to represent the distance to the hey, earth? Hold up the, the earth. No. That's too far. That's too no, far. Too far? Keep going. Keep who going thinks it's too far? Who fence. thinks it's too far? It's too short. Who no, thinks it's too short? This is right. This is right. You gotta go 93 million. Keep going. Go up. Go up. Go up. Go up. I'll give you a hint. The sun is one million miles across. You think that's far enough? No. Keep going. All right, I'll give the directions. I'll give the directions. You just tell me if you think it's far enough or not. Okay. Stop. How about that? No. No. Keep down. Keep going. Oh, right there. Right there. Right there. That's a long way away. Keep going. Now remember, this is how big the sun is. <laughs> Stop! Is that far enough? No. You sure? Yes, it is. I know. Who thinks that's far enough? Yeah, it is. Keep going. Is that a million miles? Keep going. Now I'll give the directions. Y'all just let me know. Over the fence. Stop. Let him give the directions. How about that? No. That is correct. Y'all are being good. All right, that's correct. Hold it up. Stay there. Hold up the earth. Now, who can see the earth on there? You can. What does it say next to the earth on there? No. It has numbers. Who else thinks they can see the earth? I can see the white thing, but I can't see what it's saying. I can't see anything. It's hard to see it. Okay, now, what does this tell you? Okay. Come on back in. Thank you. What does this tell you? This tells you the earth is a long way from the sun, isn't it? I mean, it's a long way from the sun. Look how big the earth is. This, as far as you can see in any direction. But that's not big very much. Keep now, <laughs> now you feel that heat coming off the sun, right, on your face? You got a little breeze, but you still feel the heat. Okay, it'll burn your skin if you stay out too long, won't it? It'll leave you, sometimes it'll blister your head, whatever. Uh, that's how hot it is. It's that far away, but you still feel the heat from it on your skin. Yes. That's pretty hot. Okay, who, who's ever been camping and stood next to a campfire? Anybody? 
standing right next to it. You've been what happened? Oh, me either. Hot, I, I cannot do camping. But if you get about yeah. 10 feet away, you don't even feel the fire, do you? No. Well, think how hot the sun must be for you to feel it 93 million miles away and still be this hot and making me sweat. Sun, really That's hot. sad. Okay, now, does anybody know what produces that heat? Thank you. I appreciate <laughs> it. You Nuclear something. Nuclear oh. fusion. This says nuclear fusion. Make What's your name? Oh, huh? oh, so Very good. Very good. Nuclear fusion. Does anybody know what nuclear fusion is? Uh, fusion of nuclear. Uh, the fusion of nuclear. That's exactly right. Okay. Now, <laughs> the sun is made up of gas. Okay, and plasma is called, but it's a gas. It's an element. Two main elements. Does anybody know what either of those elements are that make up the sun? Hydrogen. The most common Hydrogen. element in the universe. Hydrogen. 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 Hydrogen and helium. Very good. Did you hear that from somebody else, or you just knew that because you're smart? She heard it from me. No, we, we were learning about it. You heard it from me? Well, why didn't you say it? I did say it. You did? Okay, well, good for you. Okay, so what the sun does and what all stars do, who's seen star at night? Anybody ever seen a star at night? It's the same exact thing as the sun, except it's, why is it so small? Because it's like farther than the sun. It's farther away, that's right. The apparent size is smaller because it's farther away. Right, so the apparent size may be the tip of my fingertip or something. Well, that one's a lot closer, so its apparent size is a lot bigger. But they're really about the same size, most of them. Okay, that's an average size star. So anyway, what the sun does is it takes the hydrogen. You with me? You got me? Okay, good. It takes that hydrogen, and gravity causes the sun to spin around. Okay, and, hi and gravity causes the hydrogen to collapse in on itself. Because gravity makes things attract, right? So like, my, my big old country body is attracting all y'all with gravity right now. It's just not strong enough to move. But up in space, the sun is so big, uh, it is attracting more hydrogen, attracting more elements. Compresses, compresses, compresses. What happens when you press in on a volume of gas? What happens to the temperature? It's hot. So if you press in, apply more pressure, the temperature goes up. The temperature is so hot at the core of the sun that it fuses hydrogen atoms into the second element, which is what again? Helium. Helium, that's right. It fuses the hydrogen atoms. Where were you? I, I hope you'd answer that one. Mm -hmm. Oh, you weren't paying attention? Okay. Come on over here. Let me, let me, come on over here so I can tell you in person. Stay right here for me. Okay, it takes those hydrogen atoms and pressure fuses them into helium. Okay, that's what the sun does. That's what all stars do. They take smaller elements, fuse them together into larger elements. Anybody name any larger elements than helium? What are we made of? Hmm? Oxygen. Oxygen is a great example. Water is a molecule made of two different atoms. You know what those are? Hydrogen and oxygen, right? H2O. There you go. Okay, so all these heavier elements, all these heavier elements like oxygen, nitrogen, you know, we're breathing mostly nitrogen right now. There's a little oxygen, but we're breathing mostly nitrogen. All those elements are made inside of stars somewhere out of hydrogen atoms. Okay. So that's what stars do. They're a factory for making larger atoms. Uranium, gold, iron, salt. Everything you see around you. My, my gangster ride. Mr. Right. Gelmini sunglasses. Sorry. <laughs> Don't make me turn on my shot. And uh, this pavement, the shirt, my bald head, every bit of it is made out of atoms that came from inside of a star somewhere. Okay? Those atoms exploded into space in a supernova, coalesced back into what we are today. Okay? So what we're going to look at, oh, one more question. Does anybody have any idea how, how long it takes the light to get here from the sun? Seconds. Like one day. Two, three days. No, wait, wait. A month. A week. Well, the important thing is it does take the light some time to get here. It takes eight and a half minutes. It takes about 500 seconds to go 93 million miles. Right on the back of that, isn't it? Yeah, I'm joking. It takes about eight and a half minutes. So what we're looking at right now, the heat you're feeling and the light you're seeing, left the sun eight and a half minutes ago. Now, if the sun were to explode and just vanish right now, we'd be freezing. We wouldn't even know it. I mean, by the time we found out about it, we'd be incinerated. So it really doesn't matter if you're worried about the sun being, being exploded. What's it don't matter if it does or not because you ain't going to know it. Yes, What's incinerated mean? Incinerated means to be burned into its most elemental particle. So it wouldn't be anymore. That's right. So it doesn't matter if it blows that wood. Because by the time you saw it, you'd already be burned. Oh, Lord. But it's not going to blow Could up. Could you so hide from it? Could you hide from it? No. No. Yeah, you'd have to have a mighty, a mighty fast uh, car to get away from it. I'm sorry. No, that wouldn't help you.
Yeah, we'd be dead. Yeah. Be Remember how small the Earth chicken. is compared to the size of the sun? Remember how we just tiny little Earth, big old sun? There ain't nowhere, no place to hide.